Hi there, people. It's April with a new video. This is I'm um, actually in the middle of my lab practical week, and next week I have finals. Um, but I wanted to make a new video real quick. I have uh, six new things I wanted to bring up with uh, you guys and uh, go from there just before I hit the finals, and I'll be stuck studying for the next two weeks, and uh, it's going to be real terrible, but uh, I'm uh, looking forward to it. The first thing I wanted to let people know is about people that are uh, getting out of high school and going into community colleges. Uh, a lot of people are asking questions about like you know how to go about it, what track to go if you go to community college, and the best thing to do if you're going to go to community college is to Google this thing called the I Get C plan, or talk to your counselors about it. It's I G E T C plan, and that basically makes sure you're in track to go to a university, and make sure your classes are on track. Also, to uh, double check everything, I would also, if you're going to community colleges, uh, utilize the website called assist.org. Assist.org make sure that the classes that you are taking at your community college are transferable into the university of your choice in which you're going to so you can actually go on the website and actually check which university uh, you wish to transfer to and see if those classes actually count towards that university. Next thing is uh, I was I was uh, actually reading an interview with some physicians and they were asked about certain websites that actually help them out as far as uh, you know is there uh, you know help them get to medical school from their undergraduate studies and uh, a lot of them mentioned the student doctor network which is uh, the website called studentdoctor.net um, and it's just a, 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 diff, a, a website just for blogs and certain questions that a lot of students have and a lot of the medical students actually answer them for the undergraduate students and vice versa that way too. So it's, it's, a, it's a cool website uh, if you're into blogs and, and reading up different things that uh, other students have to ask and also you could go in there and ask questions yourself. Uh, next thing, um, for people that are in uh, under actual, actual undergraduate, uh, you know, I've always heard about organic chemistry being a very difficult subject to master. And I'm here to let you guys know that you know organic chemistry is is a difficult uh, course, but it, it it just it's constant practice. I mean, it's not impossible course. It's it's you know as long as you're going there, you you keep practicing your mechanisms. It's it's a weird it's a weird course because it's it's a it's a course based on a lot of concepts, but you have to treat it like a math course where you're just constantly constantly doing problems after problems after problems after problems until I mean it just sticks with you. So organic chemistry, it's not a course like you know people say it's almost impossible to pass, but it's it's uh, if you if you put in the work, it's you're gonna do well. Trust me. Don't freak out. Don't you know hear things. You know I hear, I heard a lot of things going into it that you know everyone fails the organic chemistry. It's a very difficult course, but like I said, if you keep practicing it and you're diligent and you're consistent with your work ethic in the classroom, um, you should you should do fine. Uh, so don't don't let that stress you out. Um, and and that brings me to the next subject is that you know a lot of uh, people in high school always question. They always ask me like. Uh, you know, is it or is pre med difficult? Is it hard? And what I like to tell people is that science and math are not courses that that are for like the genius, you know, or for people that are just completely smart and that can you know understand things. It's for people. Science and and math rewards people that are willing to work hard. That's it. You know, if you have a good strong work ethic, you're gonna do well. Um, you know, I sit in some of my classes, so I'm listening to the teacher, and I have no clue what they're saying. I mean, absolutely. Like I am completely lost, um, and you know they they can say all these things, and I'm in class listening, taking notes, and I honestly like what I'm writing down might as well just be gibberish because I actually don't understand any of it. I go home, I read, and I put in the work ethic that's required to to do well in science, and you know I come out and I understand the material. So, uh, you know if you're you know going to high school, going to college, and you find yourself in a classroom and you don't understand anything what the teacher's saying. Like I said, just think about it. It's all about your work ethic. That's all. It, it, that's all that matters. So go home. You know, do your research. You know, read the book, read your notes, um, and prepare yourself. You know. So uh, you know, like I said, it, science and math isn't for the, the the smart genius kids. It really isn't. It's for people that work hard, and that's what science and math rewards. It rewards those people that are willing to put the time into science courses. Um, next, right now, it's perfect time right now. A lot of like, I would Google. If you want to do research or volunteer services, there's like summer programs and internships right now that I would go online, actually Google like around your area or maybe universities or medical schools that are around where you live and start actually typing in volunteer like, you know, summer internships and, and uh, things like that and actually sign up for it. I mean, it's, it looks good in applications. It, you get to meet new people. You get to help, you know, individuals. Uh, it's just, it's a good thing to do it now. This is prime time right now when they actually start accepting these applications. So, I mean, if you want to do something over the summer that's productive and and uh, just go out and fill that out. Um, next thing I want to say is, real quick, last thing is, um, I went to a medical like school, kind of like a, a gathering where a lot of the medical schools came to our university and they talked about getting into their admissions. 
And the thing, the main thing that stuck with me is said, okay, uh, they said, all right, well, t well, the people that are smart that have the 3.8, the 3.9 GPS, the 4.0s, um, you know, that's like when you apply to medical schools, that your GPA uh, and your MCAT score will get you as far as just getting an interview. Okay, once you're at the actual interview, the rest is just dependent as far as like your community service, which you've been doing outside, you know, of school. Um, which stuck with me huge. I mean, because they say, okay, so, I mean, if you get the interview, that's great, okay? You've, you've got in there, you get an interview, so you have a chance to actually make it to that medical school of your choice. Uh, but the rest of the admissions process is just basically your interview, which, which asks you questions about what you've done, you know, outside of school, besides just, you know, you doing your research and your studying. What else have you done? You know, community service, volunteer, um, shadowing, uh, different things of that aspect. So you want to be able to build up your resume or your CV, is what a lot of people call that, um, and uh, prepare yourself for when you get to that stage of your uh, your pre med career. Uh, last thing is uh, add me on Instagram. Actually, on Instagram, I post pictures of just me uh, studying and uh, you know what pre med life is like. Uh, and like I said, if you follow me, I'll follow back. If you know, if I see something that where you're like uh, school related, as far as like you're into science and stuff, I, I like to see what other people are, are are doing, what kind of research projects are involved, and and what they're studying. I'm, you know, I think it's interesting. So, uh, you know, follow me, and hopefully, I could, you know, check out your guys' profiles, and you know, and go from there. All right, guys, uh, gotta get back to studying finals. Uh, brutal the next two weeks. So, good luck to everyone out there. I know people are going to spring break. Uh, you know, enjoy that time off. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you, guys.